In this video, we are going to style the menu filter buttons using Viva Builder. So first, let's enter the page builder. And let's click on the menu filter. So first, we could optionally set a title here uh, to say filter the menu. And that will uh, add a title here, which we could align to the center. But actually, um, I'm not going to add a title. I'm just going to remove that. I'm going to keep the orientation as horizontal. I will increase the spacing between the diet and the allergen filters. So this top row of buttons is the diet filter and the second row is the allergen. So I might say 30 pixels here. We probably want to keep this as center, but we could right align or left align the menu filter buttons. And depending on the width of the menu or the page that you're trying to create, you might want to increase or decrease the spacing between the filter buttons. Uh, I think for now we could increase this very slightly to 15 and that just gives us a bit more space there, but you can adjust this to whatever you like. In the base style tab, we can style the title, which we haven't added to this module, and also the subtitle, which in this case are the two labels here, show me dishes suitable for and hide dishes containing. So let's go ahead and style up the text. Okay, so I've applied the font railway, I've made it ultra bold. Uh, I've set the font size to 12, a line height of one, letter spacing of two, and uh, text transform of uppercase. I could change the color and the margin of the title tag, but I will leave those for now. And I think that's good enough. We can now move on to styling the buttons themselves. So let's jump across to the button styles tab. First thing that we can set is the padding of the button. And if we change that to say five pixels, you'll see how that changes the button on there. So it's a bit more of a slimline effect. And this is just overriding the theme's default styles for a button. I'll do the same for the horizontal. Uh, next, we can set the background of the button. And by default, it's gonna inherit the styles, but we could choose a color or we can make it transparent. In this case, I want it to be transparent. Now it looks like we can't see anything, uh, but if you remember the button text color is white. So let's just go down a bit and change that. So let's go back up and we can start to adjust some of the other settings. So next we have border radius. We haven't got a border currently or a background color, so we can't see what this looks like, but I do want to set that to zero because we will add a border next. So the border style uh, will set to solid and I'm going to change the top to zero, the right to zero, bottom to five and the left to zero. And let's set a color. Great. Next, we can adjust the font. So I set the font of the button to be Roboto Slab at a font weight of 400. It's 16 pixels in size with a line height of one. And as we said earlier, the color is gray. So that's it for the base style of a button. We can now move on to the hover and active styles down here. So I'm just gonna add some styles which will allow us to see when we're hovering a button and when a filter button is selected. Okay, so I've added some color styles. I've just set the background uh, color on hover, or the background type, to transparent. Uh, this is just to make sure that we override the theme styles um, so we don't see any uh, strange background colors when we hover over the button. I've set the border color, which is this five pixel line below the button text, and I've also set the button color, the text color, to red as well. And that's exactly the same for the active style, which is why we now see the show all button, which is the default selection for a menu filter as red. So let's hit save and publish. So if we hover over some menu buttons, we can see that they apply the styles that we set. And also if we click some menu buttons, you'll see that the active style has been removed from show all and applied to the buttons we've clicked. And that's it. 
So in the next video, we will start looking at styling a, a list of menu dishes, i.e. one of these menu sections. So I'll see you then.